Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today I'm going to talk about how to resolve the issue with the Mocha Awesome's merge report in Cypress if you are really using it. So if you have seen in my course on the Cypress reporting, we already have something called as generating Mocha Awesome report with Cypress and it is going through some of the breaking changes right now. So in order to do that, we first need to download the source code. So I'm just going to download the source code from the course right away. And it is going to be extracted over here. So let me go and grab that. And you can see that all the libraries that we have used on the particular project is quite older uh, because uh, the project that we used while it was in Cypress 3.0 and now we are almost in Cypress 7.2, something like that. So we have to change everything to the latest and greatest of everything. So I'm actually going to be changing the project to the latest and greatest of everything with all the different uh, package files that we have used. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So I'm just going to replace all the files over here. You can see that we're currently using, so you can see that currently we're using the PRC Cypress version 3.1.0, Cypress 7.2.0, and everything is kind of pretty new. And with Mocha Awesome report, there are some breaking changes happened, and that's what we're gonna talk about, the Mocha Awesome merge report. So if you just search for the Mocha Awesome uh, merge um, NPM like that, so you will see there is this thing coming up. So if you just click that over here, you can see that there are some breaking changes happened starting from version 4.0 uh, because there is no report directory uh, available or root directory available. And that's the uh, reason that you will be seeing the issues. And there are some discussion going on uh, from the students in this particular uh, course as well on their question and answer. So I'm just gonna uh, fix that issue this time. So uh, what to do to fix this particular issue is, all we need to do is we need to change the uh, Mocha uh, merge the report directory as you see over here is not kind of relevant right now because the report directory is the one which is actually creating the problem because we don't really have the report directory at the moment so let's try to get rid of that uh, and the next piece of lines of code is going to remain the same but i just need to add because um, i'm using the mac m1 and i need to add the full path something like that if not it is not working so you need to add that one and the rest of the things remain the same but just that uh, this time we are going to do a bit of change uh, in terms of the file being outputted so instead of doing it this way we also need to generate the html file which you can do using a new command for the mocha's uh, marge uh, which is nothing but the mocha awesome's uh, report generator you can see that it's going to go search for all the json files uh, and there is a report directory at least on this one like most mocha awesome and then the assert directory is this one and there is a report uh, page title which is going to be this one so if you have all these details then it is going to help us generate it so that's it this is the only change that we need to do and i'm going to quickly uh, download all the uh, files so let me just delete the package.log.json and i'm going to do an npm install oops can i just quit it Control s and npm install all right once it is done all we need to do is to run the script that we have to generate the report and see how it actually works so in order to do that all i'm going to do is npx run uh, cypress so if i do that this is going to start running the uh, cypress for me oops i just need to do this npx cypress run and if i just hit enter this is going to start running the test for me all right the test has been completed successfully with all 11 failed we don't have to worry about the failures here but we could see that there are so many passing tests as well and now the whole idea is to see how the combined reports and the generate report is actually working so now to do that i'm actually going to do this node run of combine reports and you will get this error like uh, there is an error combining the report the reason is being because uh, 
If you remember in our earlier lecture or in our earlier videos of this course, we actually didn't pass the JSON file, which is being generated on the Mocha folder. So if you go to the Cypress and if you go to the reports and the Mocha, you will see there are so many JSON files and there is a Mocha awesome file, this one. So we need to combine these reports to generate a single uh, reports.json file. So we actually need to give all the different JSON files like this uh over here so let's me just save this and now if i try running the no npm run combined reports over here you will see that it is working fine without any problem so this is the one thing which is also uh, been changed and our earlier command which was not something we did before now that's a bit changed so you can see that there is a uh, report.json file being generated which is quite good and then I can just do node of run once again. Um, sorry, node of run of the generate uh, report. And if I hit, oops, we get this error. Let me just do this npm run of the generate report. There we go, it's working fine. So you need to give this npm run of the generate report to generate the report and it should be working fine. So if you use this command node run of generate report, it's not gonna work. So you just need to give the npm run of generate report to actually see how it is working. And there we have this, um, this files being generated. So uh, you can see there is this mocha awesome uh, over here and there is this report.html file. So let me try to open this up on the finder, just this one. And if I just open this guy, you will see that we get this whole error report as well as the passing report for the test that have we have executed. Uh, and it is just showing us everything over here on a nice little feature, which is quite cool. So this is how we can actually make use of our new code change as well as the command change on the combined report as well as generate report in the Cypress for the Mocha Awesome merge report and the Mocha Awesome report. Hopefully that helps the problem that you are facing at the moment and that resolves the issue that you are facing. Thank you.